What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Life and Cody, back out on the Ashes Cricket Career Mode. I think this is episode number seven, so let's just get right into this one. Right. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm the captain now, so I get to select the lineup. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly select the lineup, and then we'll get right into this game. This T20 game, I think it's a T20, I'm not too sure, though. We'll find out in a bizzle, for shizzle. Alright, Peshava versus Rosmuk, and it's a Club T20 game, and I'll be the captain. I've been captaining for quite some time now, and I have to say, I've been doing it quite successfully. I've won more games than I've lost. Have I even lost a game? I'm not too sure, actually. Anyways, the pitch is looking soft and dusty. And it's a good weather, it's overcast actually, not too good. But there's only 16% chance of uh, rain. Um, so that's that. Anyways, let's get to the toss. The coin toss. And Rosma called. They won. And they're going to elect to bowl first. Alright, so we're batting first. And that is always good news for me. Because that means that I'll have full stamina when batting. And that is just, that is very important. Very important. Very important in this game. Well, in real life as well, you want stamina. There he is. 64 average. 7 half centuries. 4, um, you know, centuries. And 1 double century. Yeah. And also I've scored 1 over 150 runs as well in one inning. So, pretty impressive portfolio there. And Munawar Wahid will be opening the bowling for them. So let's do this. Alright, so on the legs, and if you know anything about me, it's that you do not bowl to me on my legs. Because that is what will happen to you. You're gonna get dispatched for four runs. Alright, that's another one on the body. Do you like the body? Do you like the body? Anyways, it's four more runs for me. Alright, finally a bowler who's done their homework. But I'm gonna cut it away. That's a lovely French cut, and it's gonna beat the fielder for four runs. Right, it's a free hit. It's a short delivery, and that's gonna go away for four runs. I thought I was gonna go for a six, but you know what? A four will do nonetheless. All right, again, it's another short delivery, and I'll pull it away once more into the gap, and it's gone for four more runs. That two back-to-back -back boundaries now. Oh boy, oh boy, they just don't learn their lesson, do they? On the legs again, and it's gonna go for four runs it's as simple as that i mean if you're gonna bowl on the legs you're gonna get smashed all right do your homework egghead all right the egghead is gonna bowl on the legs again <laughs> this time it's gone for the maximum how many miles oh, how many miles holy shit how many meters is that 106 meters still not in the stands though that's quite far back the stands all right that's a full length delivery oh and it swung a lot as well but picked up well as it is on the legs that's his strong suit and he's gonna collect three runs there at least and is that his half century up i think it's his half century up if, uh, if i'm not mistaken there it is yep of 21 deliveries four fours and one six, 238 strike rate. That's just amazing batting. We've been very unsuccessful so far. Okay, that's it. Finally get a hold of one. I've been trying to hit a boundary in such a long time, but I've been unable to, and finally I hit one. That's a relief. All right, come on, just smack that out of the park. Yes, he does, and it's gonna clear the rope. Yes, it does. That's 84 meters, not the biggest one of the night, but the day, it's not night yet. <laughs> But um, they all count, don't they? They go over the rope. Six runs, no matter how far back they go. But LC on 93, lining it up once more, and he's gotten ahead of himself, and he's gone. There was no need for that. That was quite a brilliant over so far. 12 from it. No need to play a risky shot like that. But that is Laughing Coyote in a nutshell. He likes to take risks. He likes to go after the bowling bowlers. And uh, yeah, that's just quite a slogging he's given the bowlers. And his brilliant inning of 93 runs of 47 deliveries have just come to an end. And it's yes, it has come to an end, but I think he has done he has done so much damage. I don't think um, it's repairable, you know, for Razmak. I think they're pretty much out of it. All right. Oh, that's an edge, and it's gone. Oh, come on, that's so unlucky. I get an edge, it should have been caught, but it was, well, it was a no man's land, and it's gone for four runs. Look at that. Look, the batsmen have no clue where the ball is going. He didn't even mean to play it on the offside. He meant to guide it towards the leg, and it went on the offside. 
for four runs. Okay, let's skip. Oh, shit. Okay, they got all of them out, so I only got to bowl one over, and he won it by 54 runs, like I said. The kind of batting display that Laughing Cody put up. You know, they were always going to win. Um, but yeah, and he is player of the game as well. He didn't take any wickets, but he did it only bowl one over, though. And uh, yeah, it was a brilliant display of batting from Laughing Coyote. And uh, the bowling from Rajmak was all right. Um, three wickets for Singh, I think that is. Singh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Two for Hassan, and that's about it. One for uh, the other bowler that I don't remember. Not very good with the bat. The highest score being 31. Second highest, 24. So obviously not too good with the bat. Um, but yeah. Peshawar was good with the ball and the bat, and that's just the winning recipe. Right, here we are for the second T20 game in this episode. And Peshawar are on a roll. They're winning everything. They're destroying their opponents. And it's all thanks to the newly appointed skipper, Laughing Coyote. Now, it's the pitch looks dusty and soft, so uh, it should be a good pitch to bat and ball on. I mean, there's something in there for the bowler and the batsman. I'm calling, all right, heads, as always, and is it heads or is it tails, okay, they have one, so it's tails, and they're going to bowl first, which means we're going to bat first once more, and that's good news, because I like batting first, like I said, because of stamina issues in this game, the average is creeping up now, almost uh, 66, a little over 65.5, that's a wide, right? Tell me that's a wide. Oh my god, it's not a wide. Come on, man. They've paid the ref off. Alright, another short delivery on the body. He's picked it up. Well, he's pretty good with that pull shot. And there's absolutely no one in the crowd. But it doesn't matter because that doesn't stop Coyote from hitting sixes all around the park. Just like that one. Look at that. Just pulls it away over the rope. Six runs. All right, once again, it's on the leg side. He picks it up well. That's going to land just short of the boundary, but it will go for four runs. Not six, but four. That's quite full and a lot of room, and he's going to swing his arms because there was enough room for him to swing his arms. And look at that, just two people in the crowd. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. All right, and this time he's going straight down the ground. He clears the rope this time. 76 meters, that's a shorter boundary. And he takes full advantage of that. Gets six runs for it. Look at that. It's a graceful shot. The ball swung a lot in the air. But it doesn't matter. Level C does not care. He smashes everything out of the park. All right, once again on the legs. He picks that one up, but there's a fielder this time. And he's gone. I think he's gone. Yes, he's gone. Finally. He is caught in the trap. They bowled it on his legs. They knew he was going to go after it because he loves playing shots off his legs. And they put a fielder there just for that reason. And he's gone for 23 of just 8 deliveries. He's an absolute brute, this man. He's the new boom boom, truly. They're calling him the new boom boom. And this is why. He's just doesn't mess about, does he? He's only got one mission, and that is to smash through the opponent absolutely demolish the opponent and when it's his day he does just that demolish his opponent all right come on oh that's a good shot he's played that very well and it's gone it's landed safe and it's gone for four more runs coyote once again steaming in and he's played another brilliant shot the fielder should have ca caught that one he didn't and it's cost his team that's another boundary it's a very poor fielding, though. The fielder should have done much better there. He should have gotten a hand to it. He didn't even try to get that one. Look at that. Look at that. He should... Look how... Come on, man. He should be catching that. All right, Coyote once more coming back, and he's getting the treatment that he likes to give. He likes to prescribe to his opponents. He's getting a taste of his own medicine. Three boundaries in a row now. And Coyote does not look happy, especially after that drop catch. Yes, I'm calling it a drop catch, even though he didn't attempt to catch it. Should have, so it's a dropped catch. All right, Coyote once more. Oh, he's going after him once more. This time, I think it's going to travel the distance. Yes, it will. That's six runs. That's 19 runs off this over. Wow. Coyote really was given the treatment that he likes to 
prescribe and it's I don't think he likes it I think the medicine is leaving a bad taste in his mouth and we know he's a very fast bowler might come back with some nasty deliveries in the next couple of overs all right, Coyote determined to do better, and he does just that. Oh, that landed just short. I thought he got... Oh, I thought he got him. I thought he got him, but that was very, very close. Oh, boy. That's very unlucky so far, Coyote. That's twice now that uh, should have been out, but it wasn't. All right, he's asking the slips and the f uh, keeper to come up a bit now. See if that does anything. He's coming back in again, swinging it away, and he gets smashed. Doesn't do anything. It's four more runs instead. All right, he's got coverage on the cover now, and he's got him. Yes, he has. That is why he's asked him to come up. And he's got him, finally. He's got a wicket, and it's paid off his uh, determination. He's put himself back in the bowling after getting hammered in the first one. He's struck. He's got a big wicket. Actually, Thompson has gone for 17 runs. And that's a very well set up wicket. He's been trying to, he was been working on that wicket for such a long time and he just wasn't able to quite get it right. And he finally does. And it's sweet. Quite a good over so far. Oh, I've spoken too soon. He's picked that up very well and is gone. It's traveled the distance 91 meters. And that's six runs. All right, Coyote once again. Oh, that's the pace I'm talking about. 147 Ks, and the com batsman's completely misjudged it. It's gone straight up into the air, and he's gone away. Rizwi has gone for 32 runs, and he's he was slogging quite a bit. 18 deliveries is what it took him to score 32, and Coyote finally got him. That's two for Coyote now. So he's finally getting back into it after not a very good display of bowling in the first game. And in the first over in this game. He's come back quite strong. Two wickets in the two overs he's bowled afterwards. So that's good comeback. Alright, and Peshawar's won another game. I think they're on a win streak. Like this one they won by 30 runs. And it's thanks to... Ooh, I would have thought it would be thanks to Coyote, but no, it's Tobias Ronnie, and I don't understand why, because Coyote got two wickets with the ball, Tobias got three. He did not get a chance to bat, so obviously you can't count that, whereas Coyote scored 23 of just eight deliveries, which is a brilliant cameo. So I thought they would give it to Coyote, but no, they give it to Tobias instead. Whatever, mate, it doesn't matter. We win the game, and that is all that matters. All right, now this is what we have been waiting for, the Pakistan National League. It's Islamabad taking on Peshawar, and Laughing Coyote is part of the squad this time around. So, first game in the Pakistan National League. It's the debut for Laughing Coyote, and let's see how he does in the first game against Islamabad. And this is very... Uh, this is very ironic because Islamabad and Peshawar just played a final in the PSL. So this is quite good actually that we're playing Islamabad this early in the game. But this will be very tough as you can see. 86 overall for Islamabad and 87 it was for Peshawar. So the quality of players in this league is obviously a lot higher than what I'm used to. So this won't be easy. Alright, it's a one day game between Islamabad versus Peshawar. And it's in Islamabad. So it's a home game for Islamabad. And uh, yeah, it's the first game for Laughing Coyote. He'll be opening. He's given the opportunity to open. He usually plays at number three. But uh, recently, because he was a captain, he made himself open. And um, now they're giving him a chance on the national level to open the batting. And we'll see how that goes. Islamabad has the coin. And Bishaw will be calling. Bishaw called. One. And they like to bowl first. Come on. Don't like bowling first because of the stamina. You know. nothing In real life, I actually do like to bowl first. Because that way you know when you come out to bat, you know at which rate you should be going. And it helps a lot. But Masood Adil will be opening the batting alongside with his partner. I don't know who his partner is. But uh, yeah, I'm sure they're both quite talented. All right, Laughing Coyote to bowl for the first time in the National League. As you can see, he doesn't have any stats in this league. This is the first time he'll be bowling. So yeah, let's see how this one turns out to B. All right, come on around the wicket this time. What a shot that is. That is played very well. Oh, it's landed just in front of the 
the field uh, and look at that there's a crowd now I'm not used to that there's an actual crowd look at that that's just brilliant all right come on Ooh, he's trying to pull a shot away from the oh no they've done him dirty they've done what they do to me oh we've messed it though throw the ball mate come on we've still got him oh my god I thought we, he wasn't gonna throw the ball for that there for a second but yeah, I mean, this has been happening to me for such a long time, so I'm glad it's happening to the CPU now. Some karma, finally, some justice. We finally get him with that glitch, that not running glitch. Sometimes my player does that too, he just doesn't run. But yeah, finally, justice has been served. And it needs to be served a couple more times, because <laughs> it's been done way too many times to me. And it's just the first time it's happening to a CPU. Anyways, Muhammad Irfan is now in... And uh, that's the first wicket for Coyote. Well, not really. It's a run out, but you know. All right, come on. Can we get another wicket? What is that? He blocked that, and it's going to run away for four. That is just ridiculous timing. Th yeah, it's gone for four, and he blocked it. Wow, that is incredible timing. That's stupendous timing. All right, come on, Coyote. You can do it. That's gone. He's gone. That's straight in front of the wicket. Raise that finger. What? He's not going to give it out. He's not. Are you kidding me, mate? That, that's, look, it's the white delivery. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my god, he's not, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, look at that, look at that. There's no way, I mean, maybe he's hit it with the bat. What is happening with the camera? There we go, calm down, mate. I don't think he's hit it with a bat, because it didn't look like he's hit it with a bat, but that's the only reason you can give, really, because that was straight in front of the wicket. Yeah, he's not hit it with a bat. He's not hit it with a bat. Look at that. Oh, I've been done dirty. I have been done dirty. All right, let me show you the Hawkeye, because you might think the white one was not it. Look. Come on, that's right straight in front, man. That's straight... Oh, it's hitting the middle stump. How can you not give that out? Piss off, man. Piss off. All right, Laughing Gertie coming out to open for... Peshaw in the Pish uh, Pakistan National League for the first time. He's out of stamina. Look at that. I haven't faced a single delivery. Look at my stamina. So this is why I don't like batting second in this game. But yeah, I'm going to have to make do. There he goes. He's off the mark of the first delivery. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that's very close. Referring to that. Oh, no, he's safe. He's safe. Yeah, absolutely. He's safe. Yeah, he's in. By a mile. All right, come on, just guide it and take that single. Come on! Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought he was gonna. I don't know why I don't hit the, hit the RT. Well, I know why I don't hit the RT button. It's because I don't have any stamina. I don't want to use up all the stamina because I. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna miss. I thought it was gonna be overthrows and he's gone just for one runs on his debut. He bowled well, but not too good with a bat and uh, in the last one of the last videos you guys said you suck with the bat and here I am gone just for one run stupid running man but we should win the game though I think they scored like 134 or something like that runs in 50 overs that's nothing so we should have won it very easily okay maybe not that easily but we won it anyways uh, there we go. We won it by seven wickets. Should have been a lot less than that. A lot more than that, I mean. A lot by a lot more wickets than that. And the man of the match is Sahib Zada Farhan. Yes, he is. 73 of 73 deliveries. Look at that, not out. Brilliant display with the bat. And the bowling was quite ordinary. That's why nobody really, none of the bowlers got any recognition. I didn't get any wicket, but I was very economical. Look at that, six overs and only 19 runs in bowled and maiden as well. And, uh, well, I did, to be honest, I did get one wicket. It just wasn't given to me. But, yeah, that's the summary of the game. We've won. And, yeah, I'm going to play one more game. I think I'm, you know what, from this point onwards, I think I'm going to play five games. Five, and when I say five games, I mean that's five ODIs or uh, T20s. So, I've played three, three uh, T20s already, and I've played one ODI, so I'll play one more, not ODI, it's because it's not international, but I'll play one more one-day game. When it's test game, then I'll play two or three, not more than that. Right here we are for the second game in the Pakistan National League. It's the administered tribal areas taking on Peshawar. And Life and Cody has been given another chance after a disappointing start to this league. And um, But he's been given another chance. The coach has faith in him. 
And uh, he bowled well, though. That was he was very economical, and some would say he got one wicket as well. <laughs> Anyways, the pitch is looking dusty and soft. There is some crowd showing up. It's not quite packed yet, but I'm sure that will change towards the end of the game. It will get packed. They've won the toss, and they have elected to bat fast. So once more, we'll be bowling fast, which means we'll be batting second. And I do not like that because I'll be out of stamina, and that just sucks. Any which ways, let's make the most out of it with the ball, at least. Harun Sadakat will be opening the batting for the administered areas. I think it's Fata, it's called. Fed federally administered tribal areas. Yeah, Fata, yeah, I think that's what it's called. There he is, laughing coyote. It's played one game, 19 runs, no wickets so far, but that's surely gonna change. Coyote steaming in, determined, and, well, it's played superbly. And look at that, the crowd, the stadium, I mean, is filling up. The uh, second tier is now filling up as well. At the beginning of the game, it was just the first tier, now the second deck is filling up, and that is good to see. By the end of the game, surely the whole stadium will be packed. Coyote very frustrated, haven't taken a wicket, and there he is, as I'm speaking of him not getting any wickets. He gets his first wicket with a slower delivery. The pace, the change of pace, undoes Rehan Afridi, and he scored a brilliant inning, 60 of 69 deliveries, four fours and two sixes, but the change of pace from Coyote was too much. I mean, Coyote, we know, has got a lot of pace, so when he takes the pace off, it can really be deceiving, and he did deceive the batsman on this occasion he's gone scoring a brilliant knock though all right coyote coming around the wicket this time and he's gone again what a brilliant catch that was in the slips and he's gotten his second wicket that was quite a catch uh, i can't really see the text it's very tiny and it's all mushy <laughs> i'm sure you guys will tell me it's just fine but i can't see it you know it's just too small horseshit dill uh, something, I don't know, Hush no, it was Hushdil, not Hushit, Hushdil is gone for 69 runs, I think it was, but that's just a brilliant catch, and yeah, 8 down, Asif Afridi is the next man in, and uh, yeah, 8 down, and uh, for just 203 runs, so they are in a bit of a trouble, Fata. Right, around the wicket once more, oh, and he's deceived him with the slower deliveries, the cutter, the leg cutter. And he's got him, Clark Allam going for two runs. That was such a brilliant delivery. Look at that. That was the leg cutter, I think. Yeah, it was a leg cutter. And he's deceived him completely. He had no clue. And this is what happens when you don't keep your eyes on the ball. Look at his head. His head is just down. It's not looking at the ball at all. And that's why he had no clue where it came from and where it went. Erie Mason is now out there. And uh, he's the last wicket. Can I just take that as well and just go home? You know, finish the game off. Surely gonna try to. Come on, let's do this. And he's gone. <sighs> oh no, what's going on? Come on, catch it. Oh no, it's gonna fall short. And that's two runs collected. Right, Laughing Coyote coming out to open for Peshaw once more in his first game in his debut. is quite disappointing, scoring just one runs, but surely he's gonna turn that around in this one. And yeah, he's quite low on the stamina, but let's see how he copes with it. Oh, that's on the legs, and you know he loves it on the legs. He just has a beautiful leg glance using the pace of the bowler, and it's gone all the way from four, and look at that. Like I was saying, the stadium is packed. It's mostly Islamabad fans, but there are a smattering of uh, Peshawar fans. You can see a yellow every now and then <laughs> in the crowd. Yep. But yeah, it's good to see people coming out to see this game, and... Uh, yeah, Coyote already scored more runs than he did in the first game. Oh, what is that? That's a wide. And it's going to go all the way, I think. Yes, it will go all the way for four. So that's not only a wide delivery. Not only has to, he has to bowl that again. But he's given five runs away on that delivery as well. All right, he's given a little bit of room. And that's a gorgeous looking shot. He's placed and timed it well. I think it's going to go all the way for four. Ah, uh, yes it will, it does, and that's the first boundary for Laughing Coyote in the Pakistan National League. So it's good to see him get in his groove and uh, sort of manipulate the field around, the ball around, and, you know, just play his natural game. It's good to see that. All right, he's been given some room there. Well, not too much room, but he's made the most out of it. 
And uh, I, th I don't think he's uh, he's playing the way he would like to be playing because we know him to be a, an absolute brute. And uh, he is holding himself back. Maybe that's because he doesn't have much stamina left. And uh, he doesn't have that much confidence in the amount of stamina he has left. He doesn't have enough confidence that he'll clear the rope. So that's why maybe he's keeping, he's being more conservative. But uh, that's that's brilliant to see. He has more than one level to his game. Uh, that's on his legs and he's surely going to go after it. And he does, doesn't quite get a hold of it. There again, the stamina comes into play. Granted, it wasn't timed too well. But still, it should have been, should have raced away to the boundary. Because he did put a bit of force behind that one. But I think it's because of the stamina. He's not confident enough and I mean we're seeing that uh, it's not really working out for him when he tries to smash it. So just, you know, guiding the ball around for ones and twos is, uh, I mean, it's working so why not stick with it. Right, come on. Oh, there you go. He is trying to hammer the ball is, but he's trying to keep it on the ground. And look at the stadium. <laughs> it's gone quiet because it's mostly Islamabad fans. And uh, look at that. It's only the Peshawar fans that are cheering. The Islamabad's uh, fans, they just got their heads in their hands. Right, that's on the legs. He's going to go after it. He does, and that's a six. Oh, wow, look at that. I was just talking about how he's low on stamina and probably not going to hit big hits, but there he goes and hits a 94 meters six. That is just brilliant way to bring up your half century of just 29 deliveries as well. Look at that. That's brilliant. Uh, I mean, they haven't done their homework, have they? They should know by now not to ball on his legs. He's very strong on his legs. All right, now he's given a bit of room, and now he's definitely loosening up a bit. He's letting it go a bit. He's not as conservative anymore, and he is slashing at the bowlers. That's another boundary. This is quite an expensive over. 12, 16, 20 runs off of it, and look at that. He hasn't played any shots down the ground because uh, it's been covered with fielders and he's not confident enough. I'm not confident enough, really, I should be saying. All right, it's on the legs once more and he's gonna pick it up and he does well. It's gone, there's no fielder there, so there's no risk in playing that shot and it's four more runs. All right, once again, on the legs again. Are you kidding me? They're not learning. They are not learning and it's two back-to-back -back boundaries and it's good to see him back in his groove because it was very disappointing to see him be departed quite early in the game you know on his debut as well all right and he's gonna go after it and he's gone that's a, that's exactly what i was talking about not enough stamina the timing wasn't too good but just not enough stamina and he's gone scoring 63 runs though 35 deliveries i think it's 35 like i said these tiny numbers and these tiny letters are not i'm not a i just can't see him that well and it's not my eyesight, all right? My eyesight is fine. It's just the text doesn't look too right um, in the, through this. But, uh, yeah, it's a brilliant knock, and it comes to an end, and that is what we should have seen on his debut. But he's done it now, and it's perfect. I mean, it's only his second game. And he's put Peshawar in a tremendous position. They should win from that point on, and I think they have... Yes, they have. They won by three wickets, and that is just brilliant to see. I think the man of the match will be Laughing Coyote as he took wickets and also scored well. Yep, he is a top uh, scorer at 63, and he also is a top wicket taker. Three of just 25 deliveries, so that is just brilliant to see from the youngster. Oh, by the way, I get 15k skill points now. Um, before, I used to get eight, I think. Yeah, so I'm getting almost double, almost not exactly, but almost, uh, which is pretty nifty. Right, so no chance on the international front, no chance with the IPL. Uh, fair way off, getting attention for the Bangladeshi. Oh, okay, I'm getting attention. Expecting selection in the Foundation Cup. I'm a regular member. Being considered for Premier Plate. Now that is the PSL, so that is brilliant to see. So, PSL will be coming very soon in this career mode. That is brilliant news. Anyways, I'm going to end this right here. And uh, as always, if you like this video, smash that like button. Internet tag, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice... <laughs>